Turkish major unmanned aerial vehicle producer, Baker, successfully tested a new model combat drone, Baraktar Akinci B, on Tuesday. During the test activity conducted at Baraktar AK-1NC-1 flight training and test center in Korlu, Baraktar AK-1NC-1B remained in the air for 1 hour and 16 minutes. The aerodynamic parameter identification tests carried out during Baraktar AK-1NC-1B's first flight were likewise successful. On his social media account, Baker Defense Technology leader Selkuk Baraktar, who oversaw the first flight test of the AK-1NC-1B, claimed that the Baraktar AK-1NC-1's B model, which has two 750 horsepower engines for a total of 1500 horsepower, is the most powerful combatant in its class and has the highest combat capability. The B model of the Baraktar Akinci T0HA developed by Baker as part of the Akinci project led by the Presidency of Defense Industries is two times more powerful than the Akinci A. Akinci T0HA measures 4.1 meters in height and 12.2 meters in length, with a wingspan of 20 meters. AK-1NC-1 marks the most advanced and sophisticated drone built by the country to date, which has been expanding a fleet that has already proved its success in the field. AK-1NC-1, which can fly for 24 hours and rise to a height of 40,000 feet, has a takeoff weight of 6 tons and a cruise speed of 195 knots. The drone, which is a 1.5-ton payload carrying capacity, advanced artificial intelligence, and three redundant autopilot satellite communication systems, can also be equipped with ammunition, missiles and bombs, such as the MAM-L, MAM-C, Sirat, l Umtas, Bozok, MK-81, MK-82, MK-83, Wing Assisted Guidance Kit, KGK MK-82, Gokdoan, Bozdoan and Same. Baker noted that Baraktar Akinci T0HA and ground systems will be delivered periodically beginning in 2023, as per the contracts, while the nations to which AK-1NCN will be exported have yet to be revealed. Although the nations to which Baker AK-1NC-1 is exported are not specified, it appears that the first customer for AK-1NC-1 may be Ukraine. One reason for this could be that Ukraine was satisfied with the TB-2s it purchased from Turkey and placed additional orders. Another reason is that AK-1NC-1 is currently using engines manufactured by Evchenko Progress, a Ukrainian engine manufacturer and has reached an agreement with the Ukrainian company regarding the engines that will power the national unmanned aircraft system Myas, which is still in development. Baker says the AK-1NC-1 can attack targets both in the air and on the ground. It can also operate alongside fighter jets and fly higher and stay in the air longer than Turkey's existing drones.